Uh, I just got off work and I saw a video of an older gentleman talking about quiet quitting and how like our generation is just lazy and we don't want to work for anything and how we're never going to be able to go uh, get the brand new house or the new car because we're not putting in the extra work. Most of the videos and most of the takes that I've seen are very polarizing. It's one, just the older generation saying that the youth is lazy and whatever, and the younger generation saying that like you don't see the hard work that we're putting in. I think there's, there's validity in both. And I think what older generations are having a really hard time conceptualizing is that we're f I work a minimum wage tips job position and if I were to ask any of my coworkers that are around my age when they're gonna buy their first home, they're going to laugh at me. They're gonna laugh because they don't know if they're gonna be able to pay rent next month. One of the main talking points that my generation uses is, well, it was a lot cheaper to buy a house back in the day and you could work a minimum wage job and put in the extra hours and actually buy a home. I think that's the biggest point that's going over a lot of people's heads that are that are complaining about quiet quitting and that this generation doesn't want to work. The reality is many of us that are in my age or a little older, or a little younger, are working jobs that do not care about us as people. And I'm gonna say that again because I think that's a very, very important distinction that a lot of people are forgetting. I am not going to kill myself over a job that doesn't care about me as a human being. Apparently there's a concept called quiet quitting. And quiet quitting is basically acting your wage. And I don't know, maybe acting your wage is a little bit different from um, quiet quitting itself because, you know, there's the concept of um, caring as much as you are paid, and that's a different story. But apparently quiet quitting is supposed to be you doing what you are contractually obligated to do like what you were specifically hired to do from the jump say in a low budget production you were to be a camera operator but you found yourself scripting things directing and eventually editing and sound um designing like you find yourself doing Extra things that you are not supposed to do from the jump, extra things that you are not paid to do. It would be another if you were promoted for the tasks that you do. It would be a different story to be paid for the extra things that you find yourself doing. But, you know, it's commonplace for you to be hired for one thing, paid for one thing, and find yourself doing a hundred other things that you didn't think would be a a part of, you know, your job. And on the one hand, you have people who are saying they will always be a younger, more ambitious version of you that will take away your job or be promoted in your place or promoted over you. And on the other hand, there are people who are saying that they have no, um, no intention of being promoted, no intention of climbing the ladder. They are just trying to get by, feed their families and work as healthily as possible. Um, <clears throat> and so I guess ultimately if you lose motivation or you're not paid enough or you're frustrated by your job and stagnation in your job while handling other people's tasks on top of yours, you might find yourself quiet quitting, which is, you know, um, enforcing the fact that you are supposed to do xyz and nothing else and i would say in a perfect company in a perfect working space um the whole overworking yourself to be noticed thing would pay off or you know not being lazy in general would pay off. But when it comes to companies that are not loyal to their employees, companies who don't give a crap about their employees, they are not going to care um, whether whether you put in the work or not. If they're already not paying you well, best believe even if you overwork yourself, you're not going to be promoted. Heck, you could, you know, you could pursue um the highest 
academic qualification and overwork yourself and still be too qualified or too good for a position and watch someone else climb the ladder while you're stay while you're still there for 10 plus years so i guess the main takeaway from this whole discussion is you should find a place that values your work and you should you should work as healthily as possible and as required don't be too lazy in a good job and don't overwork yourself in a toxic workplace um as for me i worked without breaks uh at one point straight out of college because we were used to staying up all night to 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 complete projects like three days two nights without sleep eating trash from monday to sunday so by the time we entered into the workforce it was like monday to saturday nine to five nine to ten sometimes 2 a.m and eventually we we would stop getting paid in spite of showing up to work for six days a week some of my friends took the weekend off and you know it didn't matter that you know I was still uh, clocking in during the weekends I still didn't get paid still I and I was not even looking for a raise or anything I was happy with the amount that I was already getting monthly like <laughs> we were getting um, underpaid in every sense of the word like you know what I mean in all aspects you know, looking at the nature of our job and we were still happy with the payment that we were receiving, but that payment uh, never came for like five, six months or so. And I was uh, called in to train an intern for free. Like, you know, you you still work here, kind of you don't kind of work here at the same time. So I was kind of fired without being fired, without a reason. And, you know, in spite of that toxic um, hustle-ish mentality, we were still screwed in the end. So you kind of have to be selfish in the way you present yourself, selfish in the way you choose where to work if you can back up um your confidence with your skills well you should be selfish in in who when it comes to who you work for so don't be lazy but don't be you know don't overwork yourself for someone who doesn't give a crap about you at the end of the day basically thoughts in the comment section please